the natural world and humankind's place and it's solely on the basis of reason and that turning to religious belief was the goal of the wide-ranging intellectual movement called the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment, also known as the Age of Reason, is the name given to an important period in the history of Western civilization that followed the Renaissance. The Enlightenment occurred roughly from the mid-1600 to 1700 and was a time when human ability to reason was glorified. The word enlightenment means a time of illumination. The era was given this name because it was a time when influential group of scholars, writers, artists, and scientists actively sought to use the clear light of reason, that rational thought to win the world of that superstition and ignorance. As a result of their efforts, tremendous movements and understanding of mathematics and sciences occurred and bold new ideas that serves as a major inspiration to revolutionaries in North America and France. Near the end of Renaissance, during the first half of 17th century, two men, Francis Bacon, René Descartes, each published an important book that came inspired generations of scientists and scholars. In fact, many historians considered these two men as the father of enlightenment. Francis Bacon was born in England in 1561, and it was during his days as a student in Cambridge University, Trinity College, that many of his important new ideas began to take shape. Bacon came to believe that science could free ordinary people from ignorance and allow them to live more productive and comfortable lives. But he knew that in order for this to happen, the mind of human being starts had to be freed from paralysis and critical ways of thinking. And that was why Francis Bacon promoted a rational approach to science based on experimentation and a rise in generalization and conclusion based on careful observation. Meanwhile, a brilliant French mathematician, René Descartes, published a book that proclaimed that reason and mathematics were all that one really needed to discover truth in sciences. The ideas promoted by Descartes and Bacon proved to be extremely important because they led to the development of what is called the scientific method. Victorian literature is a matter of study in the courses of English language even today. Queen Victoria in 1819-1901 was the first English monarch to see her name given to the period of her reign while still living. The Victorian age was characterized by rapid change and developments in nearly every sphere from advances in medical, scientific, and technological knowledge to changes in population growth and location. Over time, this rapid transformation deeply affected the country's mood, an age that began with a confidence and optimism leading to the economic boom and prosperity eventually gave way to uncertainty and doubt regarding Retains place in the world today as a shape the 19th century with the Protestant work ethic, religious observation, and institutional faith. The divine arts of imagination. Imagination, the real and internal world of which 
this vegetable universe is but a faint shadow. Romanticism, also known as the Romantic Era, was an artistic, literary, musical, and intellectual movement that originated in Europe toward the end of the 18th century and was at peak in period from 1800 to 1850. Victorian literature is a matter of study in most courses in the English literature even today. Queen Victoria in 1819-1901 was the first English monarch to see her name given to the period of her reign while still living. The Victorian age was characterized by rapid change and developments in nearly every sphere from advances in medical, scientific, and technological knowledge to changes in population growth and location. Over time, this rapid transformation deeply affected the country's mood, an age that began with a confidence and optimism leading to economic boom and poverty eventually give way to uncertainty and doubt regarding Britain's place. Today, we associate the 19th century with Protestant work, ethnic, family values, religious observation, and institutional faith. 